Alright, so I'm Austin Wilcox, product manager for Kestrel, and we're here at SHOT Show 2018, and I want to talk to you a little bit, about, a little bit about a new feature that we're releasing. This will be firmware updatable, so anyone that has a Kestrel Elite in the field will be getting this feature very soon. Um, we're calling this multi-target. So historically, the Elite could hold five targets. Uh, we're expanding that to ten, and we're adding a new screen will, that will allow you to view and manage all the target data very quickly and easily for competition, or if you're in the military, for an Overwatch mission, something like that. Um, so now below range card, there's a new screen, multi-target. If I go into multi-target, I can see my targets. It's laid out similar to range card, but A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So I can see all those targets. I can still scroll left and right with the uh, the, tar the column over here to see my windage two, my trace, my time of flight, all that information you normally would see in range card. Now if I hit the center button, I can dive into the multi-target menu. So here I've got target inputs. So when I'm building up a target, or building all the targets, I can jump on there. I can do one direction of fire capture for all targets if I'm shooting a PRS match where they're all generally in the same direction. Or I can scroll down and do direction of fire captures for all the targets individually and scroll the range. So I can completely input all of that. You can also d jump into this and put in your target speed or inclination angle if you have a stage where that's required. Uh, if I exit out, then I can jump down to wind inputs and I can do the same thing. I can do one wind capture for all targets or I can jump down and do a wind capture for all the individual targets. Can you capture while you're in here using the capture button? Yeah, hit all capture wind and it starts a nice. capture and it stops when I hit stop and that's the wind capture and then it applies that to all the targets down the line. Um, if I hit exit again, I'll jump back out. I can also change my designator from ABC to 123 so all the PRS guys don't have to say, uh, it's not what I was thinking about. So. ABC or 123, I'll leave it on that so you can see what it looks like when I come back out. And when I jump out, after I've built my 10 targets, I get all my target information. So now I can either prone stage, I might be looking at this directly on the Kestrel, I can copy it into an armband and um, get that data quickly and easily. When I get to my next stage, I hit center, scroll down to clear all, hit go, that wipes all the data, resets the target range to zero, all my direction of fire, everything goes back to zero, so I'm not looking at old data and thinking it's a real target. Build my next targets out for my next stage, hit exit, up and running again. So this came out of me shooting a match where I tried to use the Kestrel like it's designed and I realized those five targets weren't enough and trying to build targets was just a big pain in the neck. So we came up with multi-target. That's available in the Kestrel firmware update that will be coming out right now after shot. Perfect.